So gonna record. Okay. Typically, I would take notes, but I I didn't realize I'd be in the car right now. I thought I. Was okay. I, <laughs> I caught you at a. Bit. How are you today, sis? What, your you phone went out. What'd you say? I caught you at a busy moment. Can you hear me? Your yeah, your phone keeps going out. But I don't know. Are you in a good location? Um, let me see. I should be. Is it still doing? Is it still doing that? Uh, it sounds better now. Your sound for a second was coming in and out. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of glitching out. Uh, I do like testing, testing. Okay, I can hear you, but you're frozen. I don't know. <laughs> Okay. What about what? Oh, uh, uh, this area I'm passing through. It should be good in a second. Okay. You, uh, okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How my uh, this this area I guess was a bad area. I only had one bar, but my bar is going back up now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that happens. Um, <laughs> cool. All right. So couple things let me find out so with um with the coaching program that you'd like to do yes what is what is your um what's the end result what what do you want for your clients oh to succeed definitely to succeed okay. um to be able to say that i went to her and she changed something she helped me with something that was beneficial to them definitely so that's my my over change uh, to change lives, starting with one, end result multiple multiple. <laughs> so, gotcha. So, all right. So one of the things we're gonna do, right? I'm gonna yeah. give you. you I'm going to give you a, an assignment, and as long as you complete it and get back in time, then I okay. always do it for free. But if okay. you miss one, then it's over. Okay, I'm I'm down. So, Awesome. Okay. So one of the things we want to work on, right, yes. is we want to have the power to define and you want to have clear metrics for your goals, right? Okay. Clear metrics. Um, and clear metrics. Clear metrics is going to be, there's two types of goals that can be set, right? There's like tangible and intangible. So if I okay. say to you, I want to treat my wife better, right? Well, how do you measure whether or not I'm treating her better? How would I measure? Yeah, how, how do I measure that, right? If I say my goal is to treat her better, mm -hmm. how is that measured, right? You're okay. like, yo, I hugged her more, I kissed her more. Is that, does that, how do you measure that? That's not really something you can measure, right? right. I want right. to smile at my mom more. Well, unless there's somebody measuring the amount of time you smile, <laughs> the length of your smile, how big your smile is, right? Then yes. there's no real way to measure that type of goal. So okay. those type of goals are good in addition mm -hmm. to, but when we start talking about having receipts with clients, we want to yeah. show metrics. You want yeah. everything so, metrics, right? Absolutely. So yes, we want our clients to succeed, but now we have to put meat on those bones. What does success look like? And keep in mind, different clients may want different things, mm -hmm. but you want to create an avatar that shows that you're, reproducing this package over and over and over, right? Yes. Because I want you to think in future terms, now you have a thousand people who want to do coaching with you. You yes. can't coach all thousand people. You need oh, a no. system that can generate the same result. But mm -hmm. in order for that system to generate the result, it needs metrics for that system to run. Otherwise, that's, that's, that's rude. Oh, no. <laughs> Otherwise, um, <laughs> If you don't have metrics, you're, you can't repeat over and over like smile more, right? You can okay. repeat, okay, right now you're making $15,000. How do you feel? Like, oh man, right now I'm stressed out because I can't pay bills. I want to send my child to a better school. I want to mm -hmm. be able to purchase clothing. I want to I go on vacation more. Okay, how many vacations do you go on a year, right? This is how you want to get your clients talking. How many okay. vacations do you go on currently? Oh man, I, I haven't been on vacation in two years. So you're at zero. Matter of fact, if we're going annually, now you're at negative two, right? So right. if I can help you to make an extra $3,000 for you to go on vacation, how would that make you feel? Now you have a, a tangible goal and you have a real metric that you can measure that when this client came to me, they took zero vacations a year 
I was able to give this client financial freedom and also relieve stress by increasing the amount of vacations they took a year. And then you have your client give you a test of every single thing you do. You always want to get testimony, everything, testimony, everything. Okay. So metrics, metrics, right? Metrics are going to be, metrics are the difference in between you charging a client $100 an hour or $5,000 for your program. Okay. I'm going to pay somebody, right? And, and we'll get to a lot of this stuff. I'm really just jumping out in there because you're doing coaching. So normally I would never start somebody this fast. But okay. I like the idea that you're doing coaching. So I'm giving you some advanced stuff like right out the gate. All right. Um, um, with, your, with your clients, right? Uh, if somebody seriously, <clears throat> excuse me, if somebody seriously wants what you have, mm-hmm. I'm willing to do and pay no matter what. If you can get me the result, I'm willing to pay you for that result. Right. So why do people go, for example, to a personal trainer? Because I've been to the gym, going mm-hmm. to the gym's not working. I've changed my diet and whatever diet I'm on is not working. I've done X, Y, and Z. None of these things are working. I need somebody that can help me. Right now, I'm at 200 pounds. I need to get down to 175 for me to really fall in love with the body type I want, right? Cool. Now right. there's metrics. Can I help this person lose 25 pounds? And if I come to you and I see that you have receipts, like, hold on, Tamara helped 10 people lose 25 pounds. Yo, listen, how much does it cost for you to help me lose 25 pounds? It doesn't matter what you're charging if mm-hmm. you can get the result, right? right. People right. pay for results. So, okay. and results are measured in metrics. Now imagine that same story, right? Mm-hmm. How much does, um, I want to go to Tamara. I want to lose these 25 pounds. you like, yo, I've helped people lose weight, but there's no mm-hmm. measurement, right? Because losing one pound could be losing weight. So I went from 200 <laughs> to 199 and then I gained two pounds the next day, but I still lost the one pound, right? <laughs> the metrics make your mm-hmm. receipts look good. The okay. metrics show, you, you need metrics to show progress, right? Okay. Progress is measured in numbers. And so- when you like, so I'm this, this is going to save you. This is going to save you a lot of the heartache that I went through. Cause I didn't know. Okay? Right. Right. When I first started coaching, I was like, yo, mm-hmm. I'm going to charge $25 an hour. And okay. in that, in that hour, I would work with somebody and they mm-hmm. would get amazing results. I could right. measure the results that they got in that one hour. But then I realized, yo, $25 an hour is not enough money. Mm-hmm. And also The value of the result, I would always ask my clients, yo, how much would you have paid for this for this session? I would have paid 10 times the amount. I was the fool in this situation. I charged 25, but they would have paid 250 for Uh this one hour. For that one hour. (laughs) I went up on my prices. You know what? I can charge $50 an hour because (laughs) I'm getting people results. Then I asked people at $50 an hour, yo, how much would you have paid for this session? Guess what they said? I would have paid 10 times the amount for this session. So now I'm like, yo, I could have charged $500 for this session. Right. Okay. <laughs> then I went up to $100 an hour. Mm-hmm. Clients come in and pay $100 for one hour. And I asked the question, yo, how much would you have paid for this session? They're like, I would have paid $100 an hour. I would have paid 10 times more for this session. So oh, now right. I'm realizing that I don't understand how to price what I'm offering. Right. Because... Okay. I'm not just offering something. One, first of all, a one-off coaching session isn't really coaching. It's like, mm-hmm. yo, I give you some advice. That's not even coaching. That's like, you want to get some advice. You want to spend time with me and feel, feel close, right? Because right. in coaching, I need time to measure the metrics. I need time to make things happen. Coaching mm-hmm. is typically a program or a course, right? Okay. So mm-hmm. you may want to look into, as you grow, setting up a course, setting up a program, setting up something, especially because you want to build a system. So right. going into coaching, you should be thinking from the very beginning, it may not exist yet, but you should be thinking systematically. Okay. How can I create a system that reproduces myself over and over and over? So um, I heard a lot this week on Social Proof Podcast from uh, Stormy Wellington. She did a lot with David um, Shans because she has her Wi-Fi money challenge coming up, right? Okay. Stormy Wellington was talking about how she's able to make all these different millionaires because she has a system. Okay. So she doesn't have to coach 2,000 people. 
Mm-hmm. She coached the five people that she uses. They coach other people, and it's a system. As long okay. as you plug into the system, like think about a factory assembly line. Yeah. The things going down here is nobody making the same product over and over and over. The assembly mm-hmm. line is systematized so that it's at phase one, this part of the product is made. At phase two, this part. And as it goes down the conveyor belt, by the time you get through all the phases, you have the same product over and over and over and over and over. And the okay. only thing you really have to worry about is if the product doesn't come out like the other products, there's a breakdown somewhere in the system. Okay. And Makes sense. <laughs> right. You want to you want to get to the point of fixing systems, not necessarily trying to fix each individual person, because success leaves clues and you'll be able to systematize your success over. And I put my phone on. Do not disturb. Somebody disturbs us. Just realize it's not I don't want to get no calls coming in. So we want to get to system systematic. We want to get to systematic. We want to be automated. The goal mm-hmm. at the end of the day is like how automated can we become with what we do? Right. In the beginning, you got to show and prove. Yes. Got to show and prove. So for the clients, the people that you're reaching out to, for the people you'll be talking to, mm-hmm. you want to just decide some definites. I don't know how deep you are in marketing, but I'll share this with you. Okay. Most people market very incorrectly. Okay. Most people, you know what avatar is? Uh, yeah, I, I don't really know, but I've heard of it a little bit. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to give you that. All right. So okay. let's talk about that for a second. So an avatar is your ideal client. Okay. You should formulate, and I, I think I may have a document I can send you that I use from Markwell. So your okay. avatar is the person you market to every time you do any marketing. You only okay. market to one person. Most people's idea is, yo, if I put this message out, like I want to talk to 100 people, but uh-huh. you're never going to get the results you want marketing to 100 people you literally need to market to the exact same person every single time and the person you're marketing to doesn't exist they're somebody that you create that you want to market to so for example and i'll give you that when we have the document on the laptop we can walk through it and it'll be easier for you to understand but basically your avatar you're going to decide the person i'm marketing to are they male or female right you may say i want to talk to women okay boom what age well I want to talk to most people. When I ask the question, what age? They give me a range. I want to talk to women 25 to 40. Okay. okay. Let me show you the problem with that. All right. You, yes. If you talk to women 25 to 40, you're mm-hmm. going to run into a serious issue because okay. women at 25 and women at 40 don't do the same things. And right. so let me give you an example using myself, right? If I'm, if somebody's marketing to me, mm-hmm. they may use some Jay Z lyrics and I can relate. Right. They may say something like, you know, I, I, I sell I sell water to a whale. I'm like, oh, that's hard. I mean, when Jay said it, because uh-huh. that's the era I grew up in. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you use a quote from from King Von, have mm-hmm. no clue what you're talking about. Because I don't right. listen to King Von. Right. So I'm like, yo, what are they saying? Because mm-hmm. culturally, even though you could be black, I could be black. Culturally, I didn't grow up in that era. I'm a right. little bit older. Right. So my references have to. The references marketing to me have to be related to what I know, right? Okay. Like, imagine you imagine you use Martin, right? You use Martin, the, the, the comedy show. For people who grew up watching Martin, they may know every episode. Mm-hmm. They may be fully locked in. Like, if you <laughs> quote anything from Martin, they may understand. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. Are we back in? Okay, there we are. I'm like, wait, what's going on? Okay. Did you lose me? Did you lose uh-uh. me? Nope, you're here. Okay. I'm here. Yep. All right. So... Somebody grew up watching Martin may understand Martin references, right? But if I'm younger generation and I've never seen Martin, have uh-huh. no clue. You might be like, you go, girl. I'm like, yo, what's she talking about? You know what I'm saying? So right. your avatar, and I, I, we'll, we'll work on it. We want to build out an avatar. You're going to market to this person mm-hmm. down to the greatest detail you can find. What's their age? What's their sex? Are they married? Are they single? Are they dating? Where do they live at? What TV shows do they watch? What movies do they watch? What kind of clothes do they watch? Where do they get their news? What do they do online? What type of behaviors do they have? What type of things do they do for fun? You want to create this avatar like it's a real person, right? Okay. And in as much detail as possible, because Mm -hmm. that's the person that's going to be your ideal client. How much money do they make? So imagine, right? I have a product that I'm selling for Mm -hmm. $10,000, but I'm marketing to people that only make $20,000 a year. 
None, none of those people are buying my product. It doesn't matter if you market to all thousand people making 20,000, none of them are getting my product. They make 20,000 a year and they got bad credit. In order to even afford my $10,000 program, I got to be talking to people who probably making six figures or more, right? Right. right. Because yeah. most, if, if, if you got bad credit, right, or if you don't have the money, how are you going to get into my program? Right. All right. So that's extremely important with marketing to your clients to pull clients into you. You okay. want to know like what you and also with that. Um, and it's not to judge people, but it's <laughs> smart marketing. Right. If okay. I don't make if, if I don't make a certain type of money or if I do make a certain type of money, I probably have a certain type of job or business. Right. Right. Let's say you have something that's very elegant, high end, it's classy. Mm -hmm. You want to market to people that are in the elegant, high end and classy things. You don't want right. to get the hood person on the on the on a call or on a strategy session. And mm -hmm. they're like, yo, what up, little mom? You're like, yo, <laughs> hold on. It's a, it's a business call. Right? right. Like you're trying to conduct business mm -hmm. and they're not on that level. Right? right. So all of that is extremely important when mm -hmm. it comes to setting up your coaching business. Like, okay. who am I talking to? Who am I marketing to? When I have a conversation. Who is this one single individual? And why do you do that? Because mm -hmm. the people who hear you, the people who hear your either your, your, your sales copy, videos, your lives, just your, your, your content in general, mm -hmm. whatever they have in common with your avatar, people will pick up on it. And okay. it will reach lots of people, right? But you okay. want to attract to you the right people. You don't want to okay. waste time attracting people that's just going to waste your time. Yes. Right? Yes. You want to get good quality. Now, here's the thing. So in your coaching business, you mm -hmm. may say one of the metrics you may want, let's just say you want to help people make more money. Yes. Well, if a person is not interested in making more money, why are you wasting time talking to that person? Right. You only want to talk to people that are interested in making mm -hmm. money. If they're not yeah. interested, this is a waste of your time in there. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's, I agree. So, <laughs> so, so your avatar is going to become extremely important because you want to know who you're talking to, right? Okay. And that avatar is going to help kind of keep you on pace with what you do. You don't want okay. to be Jay-Z one day, King Vine the next day, right. you know, Alicia Keys one day, then the next day is SZA. Like, yo, that's two different types. Of, those are all four different genres of R&B and hip-hop, right? Like, the people that listen to SZA, for the most part, they're probably not turning on you know, whatever, uh, Alicia Keys' greatest hits at the same time, right? They're in a completely different mindset. It's mm -hmm. like, one is single women doing X, Y, and Z. The other is married women. You're like, okay, there's a huge difference in those lifestyles. One mm -hmm. has two incomes coming in, one has one, right? right. So right. your avatar is going to be extremely important. So I'll make sure to get the document to you yes, that please. you can use to help oh. create an outline and even go as far as whatever you choose Mm -hmm. To go on like Google and find a picture of that avatar or somebody that like represents your avatar. How is her hair? She got braids. She got okay. long hair, short hair. She got children. She you know, like is she light skin, dark skin? Is she mm -hmm. Asian? Is she Latino? Like who are you talking to? That's okay. a huge part of marketing that most people get wrong. They talk okay. to the wrong people. They Absolutely. waste time, <laughs> right? So I okay, <laughs> so. Got that out the way. Now, here's something that I did that I, because I didn't understand and I wasted a lot of time, right? Okay. It's valuating the value of what you have to offer. Okay. Because if you can change my life, like I said earlier, I'm willing mm -hmm. to pay you whatever. I right. don't care. I've paid multiple coaches $15,000 and up because the result. It don't yeah. matter to me, like, yo, okay. I, it don't matter to me that I didn't have the money. <laughs> like yo, coach me and say yo. In order to book me, in order to get me into my program, it's fifteen thousand. I'm like, oh, I don't got it. I'm gonna figure out a way if I want the result. Right. And you want people that are driven like that because you don't want to take on a bunch of clients that you can't help. Right. right? <laughs> so, you know, we we want to be very specific, but understanding our value. So I didn't understand my value. So I charged twenty five dollars. Understand? I charged fifty dollars. I charged a hundred dollars. Right. <laughs> Uh, 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 not so much, right? Because okay. you start realizing what happened to me is I'm picking up all these clients. I'm not mm -hmm. making no money. I'm like, right. yo, I'm, I have all these clients and I'm not making money. 
the way I want to make money. Mm-hmm. And I start looking at my time. Am I worth more than $25 an hour? I'm like, yo, <laughs> this is for the birds, right? I right. want $50 right. an hour. Because here's what happens. And this, so a lot of the homework that I'm going to be give you is like a lot of books. There's okay. always a lot of books up front, right? So mm-hmm. the number one book, you probably hear me say this all the time online, Big and Grow Rich, right? Everybody has to do Big and Grow Rich. <laughs> yes. right? That's going to be the homework for today. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, and it's because the mentality that people have. So for me, the reason I was able to say $25 an hour, nobody mm-hmm. taught me how to think and grow rich. Nobody right. taught me like, yo, you, Napoleon Hill had a statement that said, you will only get paid in life. Mm-hmm the equivalent of the value that you, the uh, the value that you bring to the marketplace. Right. So basically you can't expect to make a million dollars, but you only want to invest a hundred dollars. Right. Right. Ain't no hundred dollar investment bringing you a million dollars. Ain't how it works. Right. Right. People like, I want to live in a mansion, 10 bedrooms, whatever. How much you want to put up? $300. Damn. You can't get a studio for $300. Right. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> got to be willing to sacrifice and pay the price. But mm-hmm. you, when your thinking changes, mm-hmm. then the people you're going after will be attracted to that thinking because okay. they recognize it. I know when I'm talking to other people who think like I think, mm-hmm. like, yo, this person got it. It's intriguing, right? right? Okay. Part of being, part of like, I don't know if it's a secret, but it's, it's not so secret. Part of my <laughs> ability that I've been successful to build all these relationships with all these millionaires and CEOs and and startups is I Mm -hmm. understand that they think a certain way and Mm -hmm. I imitate and emulate what I've seen until I become it. Right. And that's the same thing you want to be able to do because do you want to take the next two years going Mm -hmm. through coaching, building things up. And then like, yo, one day I'm going to actually catch a bag from this or is it mm-hmm. easier, better, faster? You collapse time quicker to mm-hmm. come out the gate swinging, right? Yeah. You're like, yo, I got different type of problems. My first year, we cleared six figures, but I didn't do it the way I wanted to. I realized hundred thousand dollars ain't a lot of money, so mm-hmm. I like, yo, next year we got we got to do two fifty, we got to okay. do three, right? Yeah. Different <laughs> reality, completely different reality. So mm-hmm. I always start everybody off with think and grow rich, because for me personally, think and grow rich changed my life. Like oh. I had never heard the principles in the book. And even though I was doing some of the things from the book on my own already, mm-hmm. nobody ever put the philosophy to it so I could systematize it. It was right. just, it wasn't chance. I don't believe in chance, but mm-hmm. it wasn't purpose. It wasn't intentional. Okay. It was like, yo, I just was doing what came natural to try to make things happen. Like the whole, you know, there's, there's this whole movement right now. Everybody like, yo, we doing vision boards. We're doing uh-huh. manifestations. We're doing affirmations. All that's good if you know how to use it. Right. But right. if you don't understand the science, it's a science. It's not, it's not, yo, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say every day, you know, I am somebody. And then uh-huh. all of a sudden you are somebody. No, there's a science to it, right? Understanding the science. So um, yeah, so we're gonna we'll do a lot of books because okay. in those books is a lot of the secrets that's locked okay. away. Here's something major that I've realized. Mm-hmm. Um all of the major motivational speakers, mm-hmm. influencers, coaches, and people that I have met that have been successful in business or that I know through other people. So I'm talking everybody from like Eric Thomas, mm-hmm. Les Brown, Tony Robbins, oh, awesome. you know, Jim Rohn, like the big time people that's yeah. that's doing two conferences a year, clearing $100 million. The big oh. time people, right? They okay. all reference Think and Grow Rich. Every single one of them. Once you okay. read Think and Grow Rich, you'll realize, like, yo, I seen Brother Henry do a couple lives. Uh-huh. And now I understand all he just did is pick chapter by chapter. And you're just pulling principles out of each chapter. It's okay. outside of everything else for the most part. I mean, there's some books, Rich Dad, Poor Dad has some different principles. But for the most part, most business books are based on the principles that's in that book. Okay. Like, I, can, I can go through the top 25 of them and show you. All these books have these aspects of think and grow rich and people expand on them, right? So there's a reason that that book is responsible for more millionaires in the country than any other book. Okay. Because there's something in that book that when you get it, you're like, yo, okay, uh-huh. I'm going to do this coaching. I'm going to help people and I'm going to help them like this. I want, right. I, I, one of the things that I'm going to want is for you to get comfortable 
mm-hmm. with helping people, but understanding who you help. Right. 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 Sometimes mm-hmm. we might, I just, okay, I'm gonna give you this for example, because I, I don't okay, think I'm right. articulating it clearly. Um, I talked to a brother today oh, all right, so I'm trying to and he wanted me to, he wanted a certain service for me, right? He wanted me to service something from him. Okay. And he was telling me he does credit repair and he's like, yo, I, I do credit repair for free. And I was like, um, well, I don't really do free. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I don't do free anything because I don't right. want people wasting my time, all right? Mm-hmm. Even my coaches who I have personal relationships with like, yo, you can come, but it's going to cost you. So I don't right. want you wasting my time. And a lot of us don't, we're not, we don't necessarily feel comfortable. Mm-hmm. We think people say stuff to us like, if you want to help, why don't you offer it for free? No, it's because I want to help that I'm not offering it for free. Right. That's the mentality that we got to okay. get into, right? Okay. Free, I, I only do free if I see, if I see promise in a person. Okay. So when you ask me, I was like, sure, I like what you got going on. If I don't see it, I'm not doing it because then I'm wasting my, I could be wasting my time, right? Right. Because a person, I could give the, like a brother just called me the other day. He's like, oh, I watched all your lives, such and such and such. You know, mm-hmm. man, I, I was a business owner prior. I had all these things. Yo, can I get you coach? And I'm like, uh, I knew something was up in the beginning. So I'm like, all right, let's just have a regular, let's have a conversation and, and see. And we had mm-hmm. the conversation and in, in the midst of the conversation, I already told myself, like, it ain't going to work out, but I'm going to walk you through it so i told brother right. the same thing. here's the book you got okay. four days contact okay. me when you're done with the book and okay. we'll set up the next meeting we ain't gonna oh. contact i knew from the meeting because he was oh. defeated in the meeting he was mm. like the answers he was given i was listening for it was something i was listening for but it's also something i was listening i've been trying to hear what he's saying and i'm like oh he's defeated already he ain't ready oh. so i told him yo you gotta read this book he said yo is there anything else i can do like fam <laughs> you gotta play Mm-hmm. When the coach tells you, set the pick, after you set it, roll, then go up, you got to yeah. set the pick, roll, and go up. But the <laughs> fact that you already questioned in the play, like, I don't like setting picks. Can I do something different? No, uh, that's the play. All right? right? Right. That's the play. And so that's- people that's not coachable, you don't want to waste your time with people that's not coachable. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. You tell them, listen, you got a bad knee. You got alcohol poison three times. First thing you got to do is stop drinking. I, I need you to go 30 days sober. Like, <laughs> like you just, right now, I need you to go 30 days sober. That's the first play. She's like, yo, is there anything else I can do? Coaching session over. It's nothing Fresh. to talk about. You know Fresh. what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to help yourself yet. You haven't hit a low enough rock bottom yet for you to bounce back up. You, you're still falling. You ain't got yeah. to that point yet. So it's not being bougie, but it's being very <laughs> selective of who you work with. Because right. you got to also protect yourself and your energy and remember that you're doing this for you. You're doing right. this for your legacy. You're doing this for your family, your children, for the people that want you to help them, right? right. And don't let the small time, the, the small timeness of Rockford get you mm-hmm. down. Rockford okay. is a very small town, small minds, a lot of small thinkers. Most yeah. of the people I associate with are not in the city because okay. I Good. need to be around people that think big, right? right. Right, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so back to the book. We will work that angle. Okay. All right? yep. And we'll work on your avatar. Yes. And the book plus your avatar, you should you should be able to start seeing certain you'll be able to start seeing certain things in coaching and like, yo, I should do this. So for example, if you really, really, really want to get ahead and you want your coaching business to blow up quick. Mm-hmm. And this is general information. Everybody has it, but most people don't do it. Post right. on your social media three to five times a day and go live every day, 30 days straight. Okay. And you say right? that. You say that. And I, I, I want to elaborate on that though. When you say, because I see your lives and you say, make sure you put yourself out there. Make sure you post. Make sure you you have to be visible, right? You, Absolutely. You do. Oh, that's us, <laughs> right? Absolutely. When you say that, so am I more so putting out kind of what I do, putting out, like, I, I make a lot of, um, there wouldn't be slogans, but I make like a lot of creative um, sayings where I have a picture and I'll have like a wording or a saying that goes right with the picture, but it'll be something inspirational. So are you speaking things like that? Can I do it? Can I kind of critique it the way how I put my messages out there? Is that um, something that's doable, you know, in your I'm eyes? I'm going to tell you what my coach told everybody at the last conference I was at. 
Just okay. put the video out. Just put it out. I was, it was funny. At the conference, they was like, but what if I do this? What about just put it out? Right. Here's okay. the thing. A lot of what we do on social media is testing, right? You're testing the waters. Like, yo, okay, when I do my live, I'm gonna talk about this. Okay, I yeah. only got two. Here's in the beginning, okay. I only got two followers, I only got three followers, only four people popped in, right? Because uh -huh. nobody knows who you are, you're becoming visible, but you're right. building up a habit. Right, you're building up a habit. It only takes one person to see you to blow mm -hmm. you up. That's okay. it. It only okay. takes one. It just takes the right person. Right? right. Imagine you. So I don't know. Do you know who Donnie Wiggins is? I do not know Donnie Wiggins. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's, don't worry about it if you don't know who she is. If okay. Donnie Wiggins sees your live, she's going uh -huh. through, she's scrolling, and she sees your live, and she likes it, and Donnie mm -hmm. Wiggins like, yo, can let me get in contact with you. Trust okay. the from that point forward. Mm -hmm. Your career is everything's about to change, right? Oh, wow. Because okay. she has that type of pull, okay. right? It only, but you could have had a hundred people on there, and none of mm -hmm. those hundred people want to do any business. They just being entertained. Yo, right. she giving us some knowledge. They like when I do lives. A lot of times, I'm like, yo, I'm looking for like one person. Okay. But you know, whoever jumps on, jumps on. I'll, I'll tag some people so I I can make sure my numbers stay rolling. Right. But I'm only That's looking for one person. Mm -hmm. Just the one person. Politics. Because you can have a thousand people on your live and none of those people are the right person. You okay. can have five people and one of those people be the right person. Okay. Right? Okay. So your social media posts three to five times a day. Okay. And outside of posting three to five times a day, try to get a schedule and go live. And you want to try to go live at the same time every day. Okay. Right? Okay. Most people don't do it and that's why they fail. It's, it's, okay. it's, it's literally that simple. What, mm -hmm. what you want to happen, whatever your platform or platforms of choice is, you want yeah. the algorithm to pick you up. Okay. You want the algorithm to be like, yo, people are interested. So a couple things you can do. If you go live, whenever you go live, whatever you do, mm -hmm. ask people to comment. Ask okay. people to like, ask people to share the page. Like, yo, okay. it doesn't cost you nothing. Just share this right quick. Yo, drop a comment. You want the more engagements you have on your social media, the more the algorithm is going to pick you up. Right. Okay. And. You could come out like use, use um, what you know to your advantage, right? Okay. And the, the people you're marketing to. This is why having an avatar is so important. Okay. Because when you're live, you're talking to that avatar, right? Mm. You're like, yo, this and that. And the <laughs> avatar you're talking to is in love with what you're saying. Okay. The people that's watching, Somewhere in there, they mm -hmm. they fit part of your avatar. The right okay. people here, they're gonna be like, "Yo, I, when the next time you talk, when the next time you coming on, I'm trying to, mm -hmm. yo, what what else you got going on? Once yeah. people start asking you what else you got going on, that means you you you've caught them on the hook. Okay, good, good. Right, so you want I've, them to fall in love with your content. Okay, perfect. So I've I've written um on my laptop some topics that I can go live about. So just mm -hmm. you you. Your suggestion will be just go ahead and do it. Just jump right in. Just do it. Listen. Okay. <laughs> Listen, you can cheat. You can cheat your lives. I cheat all the time, right? Go to Google. <laughs> top 100 whatever trending or top 100 entrepreneur things. Forbes has all kind of stuff out. Like all these, there's all kind of things. You find a subject, get a couple notes, yeah. then put your, add your own flavor to it, right? Okay. Because you're, you're fishing. That's all you're doing is throwing the bait out there. You're fishing. So... You'll probably notice this if you if you if you shop social media, um, mm -hmm. like if you go to my website, there's a free gift, right? But yes. in order to get the free gift, you got to trade me what your name and your email. You give mm -hmm. me your name and your email, you get my free gift. Uh -huh. well, that's because, right? I want you on my email list. Of yeah. course, be you want to position yourself in your business mm -hmm. to give out as much value for free as possible. Okay. Like for me, I give my entire coaching program away for free because like algebra class, I understand mm -hmm. that if you're serious about what I actually coach in, then yeah. you're going to pay me to mm -hmm. walk you through it because mm -hmm. algebra is a lot easier to understand with the person to teach it to you. Just because mm -hmm. you have the book doesn't mean you understand algebra, right? Right. You got a right. book, you're looking at slow formula like, huh? MX <laughs> plus Y equals B squared or whatever, right? You're like, huh? This don't make no sense. I don't right. understand it. But when you ask somebody to explain it to you, you know, slope formula, you know, mm -hmm. this here is X. This is Y. This is the linear. You're like, yo, okay, that makes sense. Right? Okay. That's how coaching is. So you want to give away the game for free. 
give away okay. as much value for free. Because mm -hmm. my thinking is always going to be, if she's giving this away for free, mm -hmm. what am I going to get if I pay? That's right. how you want your clients to feel. Like, yo, hey. if she, do you ever watch um, Jessica Martin at, at all? You ever see her online? Oh, I catch her. Yeah, Jessica. I catch her. When she's live. Mm -hmm. She gives away game for free, mm -hmm. but she's just enough to hook you. Right. right? It's just okay. enough to hook you. Like, yo, listen, I got this, I got Empire Credit. Uh, what's her th business called? Uh, Empire U Credit. Mm -hmm. Yo, I can get your credit right. I can get you the 750. You can do all these things with the 750. It's what yeah. all you gotta do is all you gotta do is do these disputes like this. You can get this removed. But if you want to go through the process, my course is 249. Holla. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's Jessica. Holla. Yeah. 249 for the course. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's always like finding things. And as an entrepreneur, remember, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Okay. You, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Meaning there's there's so much stuff. The reason I'm able, so I'm going to do this 52-week uh, mastermind. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm able to do a mastermind for 52 weeks, because there's so much content out there. There's so okay. much value that you can mm -hmm. give people to help them to make money, to run their business, to get things running smooth that you're, ne you're never going to exhaust it. Before, oh. by the time you try to exhaust one subject, 10 more popped up. Oh, wow, yeah. Right? <laughs> so. It's a good thing. Um, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so definitely look at what's the end result of what you want. First question we ask, right? Right back full circle. What's the yeah. end result you want for your client? Now, mm -hmm. how can you feed them? How can you feed them information and inspiration to make them want to be more interested in you. It's oh. think about it like this. This will be the last thing, and then I give you the assignment, and I let you go. I know you got your uh, six o'clock, and I got to get to my daughter's um, volleyball game. Got it. Yeah, busy. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I called you. Like, I gotta talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> think about it like this, right? Uh -huh. When you're on social media, mm. your social media, you don't own Facebook, Instagram. I don't know what your your platform of choice is. TikTok, whatever. Mm -hmm. You don't own it, right? right. So if Facebook or Instagram gets shut down, like what happened a few months back, mm -hmm. if all of your clients are on Facebook, Instagram, social media, you don't have access to them. Right. Because mm -hmm. those not necessarily your clients. Those are Facebook and Instagram's clients. Right. True. So True. social media is like dating. Okay. That fine guy, that fine girl. You're like, you see him, you're like, oh, he's cute. Okay. He kind of cute. But we can't date here because this is out, out in the open. It's public, right? So mm -hmm. you got to find a way now to get that person's number, at least, to get that person's name so y'all can talk more in private, right? Social right. media is like the world. It's like the shopping. It's like the mall. There ain't no privacy here. Oh, right? no. So, so your part of building out your system is like, yo, I got to be able to get this person to give okay. me the information so we can talk privately. And down the road, when we start talking about systemizing, this is why every entrepreneur gets people's emails. Because once I have your email, mm -hmm. now you're in my system. Now right. I can send you a message. That message is like, yo, we dating now, right? I got your name, your number. I'm sending you information, right? right. We're, now we're dating because now I don't have to, if I go to Instagram, not only do I not own it, but I got to compete with The Rocks. I got to compete with Will Smith. I got to compete with Denzel. I got to compete with the latest trend. Everybody's fighting for your eyes on Instagram. But right. when I send you the email, it's just mm -hmm. me and you. Now okay. I got you in the video. Now we're on a date because I got you in my email. Right. right. <laughs> we're now we're, we're good. And mm -hmm. now here's the thing. They're consuming your content. They're mm -hmm. getting stuff for free. You're sending them value. You're sending them value in your email. Now they're like, yo, I need to get more. And now you got them where you want, right? Now you got it. Because now you feel like, yo, if you like what you're getting, I'm doing something special for my clients. And for, <laughs> only for clients that's in my email, that's on my email list. And I got this ebook. It's only $1.99. You can get it okay. today. The moment, people, here's the thing. People will follow you if they like you. They right. will buy from you if they trust you. Okay. So this whole dating process is about setting up trust, right? Okay. We won't be like Drake with trust issues. We got to break through people's trust issues. Well, what's going to make people trust you? Mm -hmm. Consistency will make them trust you.
If you okay. can get somebody to consume eight hours of your content, they'll begin to trust you. That's, okay. that's, the, that's the metric number. I need to spend eight hours with these people, right? So remember mm -hmm. we talked about going live every day? Yes. Now, every day, you're on 30 minutes, you're on 20 minutes, you're on an hour, you're spending time with people. They okay. keep coming back to you. They're going to begin to trust you. And you want to build people's trust up so they have confidence they'll buy from you, right? So you start off in whatever it is. I don't know. Maybe you do, you know, $1.99 for this book. Oh, they got the book. I loved it. It was amazing. What's okay. next, right? When I, did, <laughs> when I did this a few years ago, I put out this ebook I called the Success Manual. And I was like, let me just test the waters. I'm going to sell it for $15. The book okay. was flying like crazy. Oh, wow. People trusted me. And I'm like, yo, and I asked them, yo, how much would you have paid for this book? Every person, mm -hmm. I would have paid 10 times the value, right? right. So now, and there's a reason I'm saying that. We'll talk about it in another coaching session. There's okay. a reason I'm saying that. But I would have paid 10 times the value for this book. People telling me, yo, I'm getting reviews. Yo, this book is changing my life. Mm -hmm. Yo, you gave me connections in here. I've been looking for it for X, Y, and Z. You have so many plugs in here, right? Uh -huh. And honestly, I didn't reinvent the wheel. I took all the information I had from the entrepreneur workshops that I had been doing and mm -hmm. just compiled them into one book. Gave yeah. it out to people. They was like, yo, we love it, right? But also now you can be like, yo, okay, you bought my ebook at $1.99. Mm -hmm. Yo, I want to build a community of like-minded people. Yo, buy the t-shirt so we can all be in. So now I got a t-shirt for you, whatever, right? It don't got to be, I'm just using this for an example, right? But the t-shirt's $9.99. Now your business, you're starting to scale up and people mm -hmm. still trust you. Yo, I got the $1.99 ebook and the $9.99 t-shirt. What's next? Okay, Eight. listen, I'm doing a private dinner. Tickets are $24.99 and <laughs> I'm only taking, you know, 10 people, right? You might, you might realistically be taking 25, right? but I'm only taking 10. Next mm -hmm. thing you know, $24.99 tickets sold out Already. Like, and you're going up the chart, right? So by the time you come out, like, yo, I got this course. And this course is a $5,000 course, but these are the metrics that's going to change in your life. People know you, they trust right. you, and they're consuming your content. Now you have a community to back what you do. And it's about building community. If you build a community, if you build a community, you always have a support base, right? Your community will do marketing for you. Your community will tell people about you to other people. Your community will come yeah, right. For example, I mentioned Stormy Wellington in this, in okay. this, um, in this strategy session, but she's not paying me, right? Right. I mentioned right. David Shans. He's not paying me. It's just uh -huh. I'm a part of their community. Right. So because I'm a part of their community, I'm like, yo, these people are amazing. These are people you got to check in. These people, when you get to know these people, they can help you out like this, this, and that. Because they've done it for me. So I'm like, yo, I know they can do it for other people, right? They're right. amazing. And those people become part of your community. And now, mm -hmm you're growing it out, right? And that's how you grow your business line, uh, vertically and laterally, right? You want to grow okay. horizontal, also want to grow vertically. Well, that's how you do it. Right? Okay. So, okay. Um, so yeah. So, this is what the homework assignment would be. All right? Yes. Homework assignment. I will get you, and we'll work on it. We'll work on it in the next session. I'll get, we'll go over the avatar. Okay. And we'll, we'll walk through starting to put it together, right? Okay. Put your avatar together. So this will be your homework assignment. You can go on YouTube and it's free. You don't got to buy it. You, you, if, you, if you prefer reading, you can buy the book. But the mm -hmm. audio book is free on YouTube. Okay. You can go okay. get Think and Grow Rich. So it's a, it's 10 hours. So okay. you should be able to get through it in five or six days. Right. You know, I don't know what your schedule is like, but it starts off kind of dry. But once you get into it, you can like, it's another sister that I, was, I just had this meeting when she was like, I started listening. I was like, yo, this is boring. She's like, but then like 30 minutes in, uh -huh. I couldn't stop listening. Like, I right. listened to the book for, like, six hours straight. I was like, dang, six hours? She was like, oh. six hours straight. It's that kind of book. Great. Right. Okay. So, uh, if I had it, I would, I would give you the link. But just Google it. Or just YouTube it. Yeah. Think and Grow Rich. I'm starting that tonight. Look. <laughs> yes. You, it is. There. You know how some, some women clean up and listen to music? I'm going to be at, doing my home exercises and, and that'll be on my TV here. <laughs> Absolutely. So get through that book, let's say four or five days. And then when you get through the book, contact me and let me know. We'll set up the next meeting. Perfect. And uh, I'm not I'm not like going to reel you on the book, but I'm expecting that you'll know what's in the book. You know, you're not going to like memorize it, right? 
And right. that, I, I read Think and Grow Rich like twice a year, right? Okay. Even now, I still read it like twice a year because there's so much in the book that I pull out every time, right? But once you get those general concepts, once you hear them the first time, all these different things are gonna make so much more sense to you. you like, yo, I could be doing it. Like, right. and that may be it. Here's the thing. You may hear the one thing that you need to hear that's gonna boost your business without me. Like, okay. the, Up it kind of cut out there. Breakthrough. Okay, can you hear me? Um, the bad section again. Okay, yep, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah, that's where I had one bar. I headed back in that direction. Okay, okay. okay. So, yeah, so think and grow rich, mm -hmm. and then contact me afterwards. We'll set up the um, contact me back when you finish the book. Okay. Finish it in four or five days. Contact okay. me. We'll set up the next session, and then we'll walk through that session. Um, and it's that easy. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'll start tonight. <laughs> oh, that was good. Sounds okay, good. perfect. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate your All time. Right. And I'm, I want to start that Absolutely. book tonight. <laughs> awesome. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.